Hi, how you going everybody? Um, this is Jermaine from XBand. Um, I am doing a video today just to kind of show you what we are talking about when we mention the Phantom Men or the Phantom Men or the Swedish or Norwegian um, Egmont uh, hardcover back issues, which are very, very similar as the Fruit replica issues. Um, now, you have to excuse the dog in the background jumping against the back uh, glass, but when I am talking about it, and this is what I'm talking about. So this one here is the Chronicle version, which is kind of like all the Chronicle, ver Chronicle stories featuring the past Phantoms. This one here is very, very, very similar as the replica issues, basically where they get all of the old comics and put them together. So we'll go through this one first. Um, so as you can see, very, very simple, um, but it's hardcover with a nice... Uh, dust jacket and stuff so we'll go through it um, so this is 1965 part 1 and then it's got the content so it's got a few issues uh, so it's got like issues 1 to 5 and then it also has articles and stuff like that as well so which is very very similar as the Barry Stubbersfield um, kind of message from the fandom so when we were talking about this is what we reckon uh, Free should be talking about or what we think would be a better collector's edition and the replica series this again this is what we're talking about so as you can see here very very similar as what fru does um where you've got basically the the splash cover the, the the color cover of what it is and then you've got the whole contents of the actual book and then if you go through you can see them all and it also includes the back covers and stuff like that as well so, in the unedited format with all of the advertising, everything like that, which is very, very similar as what we have. But then, what they also have is they have like little articles, just articles about the stuff. Obviously, I don't read Swedish, so I don't know what they're about. But it features articles uh, about the Phantom, but also um, other stuff, which uh, other comics and characters that featured in those stories back then as well, like this one here. So, that is that. Now, another issue, another example is the Chronicle issue, which um, I was telling you about. So, as you can see down here, you've got um, the years. So, I believe that's the 12th Phantom uh, with the years that he was active. So, about 50 years, which isn't a bad run. But that's another topic. So, very similar again. Very simple uh, cover. It's got a dust jacket. And this makes it a real collector's edition because it looks beautiful on the shelf, as you can see there. I've got a couple of them. Okay, so, you know, and there's some time. So there's the contents for the stories, the creative team. And as you can see, it's about 500 pages long. So obviously it's going to be a little bit more expensive, but I reckon... Uh, in my opinion, if you're going to do something to celebrate it, it's worth it. So, again, you've got the articles, you've got all the covers, uh, there's an article, and now you've got the stories. Uh, you may mention this story has been published in free before, and, you know, and you keep going through, keep going through, and then here's all the different stories featuring that phantom, including this one, which... Uh, most people will remember because it's got the scantily clad um, women in it. Um, so you've got all the stories and, you know, all different artists and, you know, so it's, it's literally 460 pages of just fandom stories of that fandom where you get to uh, read it. So I think what's actually interesting is if we just go to here... Is I don't know if you remember this story, but this is um, this actually features a modern day phantom. So there's Guran and Old Man Moz, and then they're talking about when the phantom had to deal with a past phantom had to deal with it. So this is featuring that phantom, but it's only featuring like the excerpt of that actual story. So it's 455 to 460. So it's five pages from a modern day phantom story, Oops, sorry, 
but it's featuring that. So yeah, so and then it's got a little bit of history about that Phantom as well, which might be Phantom 10 or I think that might be the years of the Phantom. So yeah, so hopefully that will kind of give you a bit of an idea about when we uh, next talk about the replica route and or when we have in the past and we have talked about how the way we reckon it should be, how free should do it. All right, so um, put your comments, let us know, and um, yeah, I don't know if don't know if we're going to actually see it, but so you again, so you understand what we are talking about when on the podcast, you have an idea. Thanks for listening. Bye.